Now, of course, as we're in the middle of a cost of living crisis and Labour, let's face it, announcing stupid policies left, right and centre, something free, especially if it's your energy bills, sounds quite tempting, doesn't it? In fact, more than that, if it lasts for five whole years. It gets even better because there's no Labour money tree in your back garden in sight. So what's going on and then how can they possibly do it? Well, according to this article, it says that Octopus Energy is offering a radical new tariff which promises customers will pay nothing for their electricity. Zilch, zilch, not pounds per month. And there is just one problem. There is a massive catch with this. And it is not exactly a good one in my opinion. Even though, of course, the new tariff is called Octopus Zero Bills. So why am I not liking the sound of it? I mean, let's face it, all the money we can get at the moment is surely going to help us, especially pensioners, with at the moment Keir Starmer putting on his reverse Robin Hood hat on, it seems. Well, it's all got something to do with two words. Net zero. Which is, let's face it, pretty much a pain in the bum for all the rest of us. But what are they going to do? Are they going to just give us all a heap of money to go net zero? It's not quite that simple. The scheme, it says, is being run in tandem with housing developers and a house built with renewable energy items, including solar panels, a heat pump, battery storage and electric heating, will apparently qualify for Octopus Zero Bill's scheme, using the renewable energy sources on the property to power the home instead. And obviously, if your house is getting powered by solar, then you're not taking power from the grid, are you? Except, of course, the sun, I'm afraid, does not have its hat on all day in this country. Or even, for let's face it, two weeks in the summer. Which obviously is where the batteries come in handy, because when the sun does have its hat on, hip 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 hooray, your batteries will fill up. And therefore, it does sound that Octopus has given us all a really good deal, in, but in fact, surely it means that if that's the case and your house could be powered by the battery, they're actually giving us... F all. And more than that, the big catch in my opinion is surely you're going to have to pay for all this stuff to be installed in the first place. And with a housing developer, I'm guessing that'll have to be a new build you buy, which let's face it, they aren't exactly cheap as it is, are they? But just what have Octopus said about it then? Well, they say we have just launched Octopus Zero Bills, the next generation of electricity tariff with zero energy bills for five years guaranteed. Sounds like a used car salesman, doesn't it? But anyway, for new homes kitted out with the right combination of solar panels, home battery and heat pump. But makes me wonder, how often will their specifications change on what is actually the right combination for them? They even say here that in their most user car deal salesperson line I've heard, it's not magic, but it just could be. If you live in a brand new, specifically built zero bills home, you will not receive an energy bills, no costs, no worries. However, what about after five years? How much is this all going to cost you, especially if you have a few cloudy days and get no sun at all? And let's face it, as you'll be using a heat pump, that is bound to use quite a bit of electric, I'm guessing. And electric bills, are unfortunately, only seem to be going one way, and that is not a good way, in my opinion. But it does make me wonder, though, as the government often seems to be on some sort of net zero push, are they going to be funding quite a lot of this? Possibly give an octopus a couple of quid and say, make it look good. Hopefully that is not the case, but it wouldn't surprise me. Especially, of course, if us taxpayers are going to have to foot the bill for all of this. Well, I don't know about you, but I, for one, am perfectly happy with my gas boiler and will not be going to this anytime soon. And I personally don't think heat pumps are the future, because let's face it, who wants one of them things strapped to the outside of your house? So I'm afraid, octopus, from me as a thanks, but, um, no thanks.